Hey, what's up, my Slimers? This is 796, and I'm Superior. Welcome back to the final episode of Wolf Among Us. I'm dedicating all my time to this final episode, so let us resume. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. Yeah, really. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. What's up? What is up? Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. Uh-huh, sure. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie murders. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. Oh, shut up. What are up. you talking about? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. What do you mean? Are you serious? Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes. You're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Yeah. What? What, what do you How mean? About the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody. He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. Yeah, really. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. You know Georgie what? Killed Faith and Lily. I'm not sick of this guy. I want to throw him down the witching well just for now. Their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh please! This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. The laws apply when we need them. Everyone, calm down. This isn't I the mean reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded. <laughs> to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since. Which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. You know Without what? me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? <sighs> Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Oh. Excuse I... me, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Oh yeah, the curse has been lifted. What's she doing here? I'd like to- I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. Ooh. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? 
Now it's my turn to talk. Ooh. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Knew... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're nice. going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Yeah, exactly. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. Maybe there will be has more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So so we can get rid of him. So get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. Really? So I think this we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Look. I'm making the call. Why should you- He is the only officially appointed representative here. Right. Bigby should decide. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. What? Oh shit. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me. When you try to sleep, finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> You deserve this. For Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. I'm sorry. It had to be done. It had to. I'm not letting him escape from the witching well to escape another day. I'm sorry. One day later. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. 
I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. Uh-huh. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Thanks. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Hello, Bluebeard. Good morning, Miss White. Oh, what an ass. Ugh, oh, jeez. Now I feel bad. God damn it. Someone's oh. gonna see you, Colin. Really? Colin's my little pig. I had to do it. Oh! Wait, so that toad isn't gonna go? Toad isn't gonna go. I remember that, because I bought him Fable. I bought him Fables, sorry. Well, I gave him money to buy the Fable. So. Yeah, it should be work. It should work. Wait, what? What? Gowan. Jesus. Wait, why didn't he? Why is he not buying any? We only have like five minutes. Why didn't he buy the me fable? For fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. I thought I'm bought him like. Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. Oh. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Yeah, I thought... Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I Aww. couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's Aww. a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. Aww. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do Aww. we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? I've heard set. about it. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Man. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. God damn it. Why did the toad have to go? Oh, hey. Nerissa, what's going on? Hi. Hi. 
How come you haven't taken out the ribbon? Still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if you Bigby, I I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? Um, okay. It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. What? I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? Okay. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. Oh my and god. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. A we little. Had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done as done. Yeah, I know right. he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Why? You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was going <coughs> on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Nerissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll yeah. make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. True. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but... Without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, 
Because yeah. you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Thank you. You've been given Thank you, this Narissa. job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. No. Thanks, Narissa. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Why did that get all like that? I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I don't understand. I'll see you around, Wolf. I'm so confused. What does that mean? I'm so confused. Like, I don't get it. I don't know what... <sighs> Alright. What did you do to Georgie? You and 68% of people killed Georgie. Well, yeah. Well, I don't want him to suffer and just lay there and die. Painful death is, like, bad enough. Just going through it easily, just trying to kill him. It's just easier. Did you give the crooked man a trial? 89... Yeah. It's not good enough to just hit him. Come on. Did you punish the crooked... Oh, my God. Wow, I definitely made the bad choice here. Wow. Did you accept TJ's gift? Those two, like, that 1.5% people that did that, screw you. Like, really, why are you going to be so mean to TJ for? Really? What were your last words to Nursa? You and 54% of people, I hope I've done some good here. Wait, then why is that a choice? Why was that an option? Okay. I, I guess that's good. I guess so. Oh, wow. What the hell? You took him back to the witching well. Alright. Save. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, God. That scared me. All right, so that's the last of the Wolf Among Us, guys. That was a awesome episode. That last part is still skeptical because I have no idea what that meant. But like this story is confusing if you're not paying attention. So that's why if you don't see me talking, because I'm trying to understand like what's going on in the story. Because if you don't if you don't pay attention, you're not gonna understand like what to do or what's going on. So, you got, like, that's why with these games in Tall Tale, you gotta pay attention with these characters, because they'll say the weirdest shit, and, like, like, the most difficult things to understand, but you have to pay attention. That's what happens with these games. But, yeah, this game, out of 10 out of 10, 100. Like, 100 out of 10. That's how good this game was. I really hope they'll make a 2. Because that last part's still skeptical. I don't know what that meant. I'm guessing uh, Bloody Mary is not dead fully because she is glass. So I guess she survived and we just don't know it yet. Or Nerissa is Bloody Mary. I don't know. That's just, that's weird for me. I don't understand it. But who knows with this game? This game is like full of mysteries that we'll never understand, that we'll never solve. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. So 
thank you guys so much for watching this final video on the wolf among us hope you guys enjoyed this journey with me leave a like for this video leave a comment say what was your favorite part about this video and i will talk to you guys in the next video goodbye <laughs>